a little louder. I can't believe it. I just wasted 30 minutes of my life doing a nice edit for you. Now you're just going to get this version of it. So here's the uh, that Surfside uh, video content. I mean, at least it'll be a faster version, or abbreviated version. The NIST has finished their, the finished their investigation. All they care about is post um, uh, puncturing shear. Okay, so let's fast forward this. All right, so right about here, you see I'm picking at it is what I'm driving at. They're going to be picking at the, wear, at the top layer. They're going to destroy it. They're going to saw cut it. They're going to get rid of the wear layer is what I'm saying. The top layer uh, that you see I'm picking at it. They don't care about the weight of the top layer. They're not going to keep it. They're not going to measure it. There's no weight going measurement there. They have a bias here. It's, they're just getting to it. They're just going to use saw cuts. They're going to saw cut one section out right here on this side only. They're not going to care about the reinforcement locations of anywhere else. This this NIST is only going to be caring about, you see I'm picking at it, the uh, a section that they want out. Right now we got to wait for the crane. There's a jackhammer going in. You see it? So they don't care about pull-out test or anything else. Over here we got this guy pounding on uh, the pad there. That's interesting. I That one's got me for a second. Give me a second on this one. Um, they want something out of that. I didn't see this part because I was fat, I was further down the line on this one. Um, so, come on. They have all types of drills and hammers here. So where did this piece come from? There's a big saw coming out. It's going to saw cut it. Let me fast forward. All right, so that piece is going out of there via crane. That might be a keeper for the placement of the rebar right there. We'll, we'll get to the rebar in a second. Let's, uh, they're going to take a while to get this thing out. They're going to pound at it, throw away the uh, top layer. Again, that's not going to be part of their calculations because they're going to leave it there. They're not taking it with them. They're trashing it. Right, this fixed machine gets in the way for a minute. Okay, now you see they got two holes punched through. They have the... Uh, crane hooked up. I'm going to fast forward a bit. Um, back here again. They're discussing on how to get this out basically. They're going to really pound at it, saw at it again. Then they're going to come again, saw at it again. They're going to really tear this sample up. Let me uh, move forward a bit. There's the pick again. There's the, sam there's the wear layer for you guys. They're just tearing it up. Throwing it off to the side with picks. They're not. They're not measured. They're not trying to weigh it, weigh it or anything else. They could care less. They've already made a decision. So um, there's. Here's, so there is no. Uh, this is just a matter of confirming. They want to just. Well, I don't know. They're going to call. It's puncture. We're, we're looking at. And okay, this guy's going to now do a secondary cut over here. Remember, I've already gone through this. I just had to redo the video. All right, let's let them get this thing up the crane. Let's get this forward so you guys can see it come out of the ground, out of the uh, out of the surface there, and then you'll see the guys disappear. This cruise is going to vanish. The moose. Okay, we're still trying. It's still here. Okay, now it's coming out. Okay, there we go. So we got the brake on it. The wire, the wire mat showing uh, top and bottom. I can't see steel here. There's nobody's filming it. It's just uh, besides this channel. Not me, the channel is filming it. And then we pause, we look, pull in here, and you can see the wire in two directions. Um, they already cut some. I don't see the wire here, but what are the odds that, and no wire here? What are the odds that they only put reinforcement there? Um, what are the odds that they only did that? Somewhere about this column here, or this one, which, uh, okay, I got LASIKs done, so give me a second, my eyes, uh, sometimes they, uh, they get real foggy, focus. I think it's 19 number fours. Ah, come on. Let me close my eyes just for a second. Try to open them. Get a refocus. 15 number fours. Now, the setup is, I don't, the setup on you guys is that a couple of people wrote me saying, ah, oh, you're not that bright. They, they eat, they're assumed evenly spaced. Okay, great. See these columns here? Look at the row. They're all in line. And these columns here are all in line out to right about there. And we're talking about here. So assumed evenly spaced. So from here we have, uh, 
eyes again. Shit, is that 15? Or is that 19? I can't tell right now. My eyes are that blurry. Here's 16, 16s, and then 14, right? So 14, number four. Assume the evenly spaced. Let's assume this is 10 foot apart they're, they're equally. So you divide uh, uh, 10 feet by 16, and you'd equally space them. Well, wait a minute. This is also 10 feet apart. Now you divide 10 feet by 14 and equally space them. What happens now? Now you've lost your overlap because the spacing will be at a different different location than here. Now no overlap will take place. So this is why it matters. Why 16 here, 14 here? How do you get overlap? How do you do that? Now, sometimes, like I said, when I say this stuff, I already know what I'm expecting from you guys, and I want, I, you know, some of you trolls or some of you guys that want to outsmart me and tell me how stupid I am that it's assumed evenly spaced. Well, you you dropped the ball, didn't you? Because all the, the the ones that said I'm not going to show you the people do that because you guys are regular commenters. I just want you to I'm not going to out you. I just want you to realize that where your defect and your thinking is, that means you now lost your overlap from one steel to the other, and you have to overlap your steel and you interconnect your steel. Otherwise, you, if you equally space them, you no longer will have overlap. Let's get back to the video. Why that? Why why? It's not assumed equally space works. All right. So here's the here's the mat that will, that will go across his head here, and that's what punk sheared through. Um, this is what uh, Surfside is not. Look, the guy's just brushing it off. Surfside is uh, not down here. They look, looks like they're status non gratis because he doesn't care about punk sheer, the witnesses and all that. This is the extent of what uh, NIST, I think these are NIST guys, are going to look for. And then they're going to take off. They're, look, he just grabbed, what the hell? He just grabbed a piece of wire and rebar and threw it on the ground. Right there, boom. One more time, watch. Watch this. Grab the wire, uh, throw it away. They've already made their mind up. Did you, let's do that again. Right there. He's going to grab the rebar right here and throw it away. Right there. This is a big fucking scam. This whole report's going to be a scam. They've already made their mind up. And this data collection is just... It's going to be false data collection. He just grabbed a piece of bar and threw it away. Watch. One more time. And keep going. So, yeah. So what are you going to say? We found rebar placed here and here. That's not true. We just watched him grab a piece of steel and toss it. Let's do that again. Let's back it up. And I'll go frame by frame. There's grabbing the steel. Right about now in his hand. Right here. And Toss it. None of this stuff matters. They've already made their mind up. It's going to be punctured. And any of the numbers they come up with the steel, it's just going to be numbers they make up. That it was 10 pieces this way and 9 that way. We just saw them throw a piece away. So, how you know, it's, it's it, this, this, all this detail searching and hunting, it's not going to matter in the NIST report. So, it, what I'm saying is that this matching the NIST report, don't worry about it. It will not match because we just watched them toss a piece of piece of evidence away. Just grab it, toss it, and there goes the. Uh, let's go back. And there goes the. There, there it goes. Rebar, tossed. Okay, now I'm going to fast forward the video to show you that they don't care about placement. Uh, this is just disgusting. They're, this is not, this is never going to be about, this is never, this is not going to be a good report. You know what? So I find this disgusting. 
and they're gone. And watch watch the show the exposed rebar in a second over here. Thanks to the person that made this this sharing this live. Without them, we wouldn't know what the real deal is. There's a rebar mat over here, the rebar placement, et cetera, where the punk shear, I think, started. Doesn't fucking matter. There's no NIST people here, and they're just allowing them to destroy it with the uh, with the machinery. With the machinery. Now watch how when, he, when when the machine grabs this, it doesn't move the slab. So their engagement there is just, you know, not really there. But look, no, they don't care. There's the rebar. There's no workers. It's nighttime. They don't care about the data, whether, whether the rebar is placed or not. They're just tearing it out. Look, just grab it. Watch, just grab it. There's the rebar where you could where you could actually see how it was placed. Not needed. It's not needed. This is already determined. This is punk shear. And the, any of the numbers they talk about with, with the amount of steel and all is a lie. You see there are no NIST workers here. And it's going off into the shit can. And this guy threw away a piece of rebar. This piece of steel. So uh, And he only took the one sample there. The rest is not there. So this is just a scam. Watch how fast forward and you see how far they get along. Look, they're down here. They're way down here. So they don't know if they're going to hit bump this column. There, maybe some NIST guys up there now. But, you know, you're not down there calculating. This guy's grabbing a slab. He's going to toss it. Oh, there's some NIST guys. But they don't care about counting. Um, counting. Maybe they're NIST guys or whatever they are. But they don't care. I wouldn't be surprised if they start pulling out the uh, piers now. Let's go forward. Let's go forward. Forward, 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 forward. Really shout out to that the channel for doing that, for leaving this live like that. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, so this has already made up their mind. There's the steel all being shit canned. And you saw live this person toss the steel. Toss the steel. I'm going to pull it up again. Too far. I'm going back uh, five. See, they're packing up the equipment. See, I'm, I'm going backwards. It's going backwards. Hold on. Bear with it. I'm only going back like five seconds at a time. Okay, here we go. Let's watch that again right about there. That's, that's what I find amazing. I'm just trying to measure it. Anything else? And here it comes on his side. Who needs this data? Here it comes. Uh, what's this? Loose piece of steel? Yep. Throw that away. Don't need it. Ending the video. Hopefully you guys will see that they've already made up their mind. It's puncture and numbers are going to be fudged. They won't be following. This will, this, they may use this, but it's just fake. You just saw them throw away some steel.